Hey everybody, this is Eric Worre and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. I'm here with one of the other legends in network marketing, a gentleman by the name of Jimmy Smith. How are you doing, Jimmy? I am doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. We've been trying to do this. My friend Jay Coburn's been trying to get us to do this interview for a couple years now. At least three. He's been harassing you. He's been harassing me. But I think he's doing it because he, he, um, he knows what kind of value uh, your story is going to be able to bring to people. Um, what I'd like to find out from you, let's start with, with the, the beginning, or excuse me, the end. How much have you earned in total in the network marketing profession? Well, that's very interesting. And uh, I started in network marketing at age 62. And from age 62 to 67, for five years, I didn't make a dime. I lost money. I went bankrupt. Wow. From age uh, 67 to 74, I made about maybe a million and a half, two million dollars total, but I put it all back in the business. And then from age 74 to 85, which I am now, uh, I finally arrived, I got it, and uh, I've earned $36.7 million as a family in the last 11 years. So, first of all, started at age 62. I found the industry at 62. Found the network marketing profession at 62. So, what were you doing prior to that? I was a butcher for 40 years for a large chain store. I, I worked for that company from age 16 to 56. And at age 56 in 1983, I was forced to retire with a very, very arthritic back. They told me if I continued to cut meat, I could end up in a wheelchair. I laid in the hospital for 14 days, couldn't walk. And they wanted to operate on my spine and I wouldn't let them because I had a friend that had that experience. So when Ronald Reagan was taking blind people off Social Security, my company gave me full benefits. Social Security gave me full benefits. So at age 56, I was fully retired. Disabled. Back. Back. That's right. So, uh, a lot of people would say, you know, hey, the, the key demographic to be able to recruit is younger than 62. Well, but it, in in your case, that would have been a really bad mistake to assume that, right? I would think so. <laughs> yeah. So. I would think so. They told me. My company told me. Jimmy observed as well. Go find a new career. How, and how did you find network marketing? Well, you know, you, you've had you had to have opinions about it over the course of your life. I had a very bad connotation of network marketing. I, like so many other people, I thought it was a pyramid scam. I didn't know anybody that ever made money. I knew a lot of people that did Airway and Shakti. I didn't know anybody that made a lot of money. And so I had, a, I had a good friend that I did a real special favor for. And he called me up one night and said, Jimmy, I want to take you to a meeting. I said, what kind of meeting? He said, opportunity. I said, for what? He said, network market. I said, what is that? So he said, look, trust me, just come. So I went to that meeting, and it was NSA water filters. Ah. And, uh, you know, the guys in the front That's where I got my start. What, what year was this? That was 1989. <clears throat> 88. You're kidding me. 88. NSA? Yeah, yeah. My upline was Lou Prescott and Jeff Schlegel and Jeff Roberti and those guys. Oh, I remember that. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> wow. We both got started at the same same spot. So then that company was hot right then. It was, but <clears throat> I don't know what it was. I seen something that didn't fit right with me. It, they told me he would buy a person called me up and told me that they would they got in a new business and they bought twenty five thousand dollars worth of winter filters and the next month they got a rebate check for twelve thousand five hundred. And that didn't sit right because right. that was back in that, that was back in the days when people were the startup was five thousand dollars. Five, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, fifteen thousand, twenty-five thousand. Big, big packages. Not like it is today. No. Um, but uh, and, and I'm glad that the professions changed, got oh, away I, from all yeah, that too. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> but the guy that invited me to the meeting, he gave me a video called the Don Fay and Apple presentation. Sure. It was like an hour and forty-five minutes, and I took it home and I watched it over and over again. And something popped out. I got the numbers. I got mm. the geometric regression mm. numbers. I was fascinated with that, and that's what kept me in the game. All right, Jimmy, you've uh, you're 85 years old. You've had tremendous success. Uh, you started when you were 62, and there's people who watch this program. This program would be watched a couple hundred thousand times around the world in probably 150 countries, and probably 300 companies. We'll watch what we're doing right now. Wow. Um, <clears throat> what advice would you have 
for these people. Uh, to, they, they really want this. They really want to become network marketing professionals. They really want to create a, a career for themselves. They really want to, to have freedom in their lives. And as you know, we have the vehicle to be able to do that. But sometimes people get a little stuck on how to go make it happen. So you've had tremendous experience. Um, you know, share with people what your advice would be. Well, anyone that wants to make a career out of network marketing, my advice would be to become a student in network marketing. Learn everything you can. Watch videos, watch tapes, read books, read every book. I've read so many books. Every book I could get my hands on, every video. I used to sit in the dark watching videos and I, I would just saturate my mind. You, you squeeze an apple, you get apple juice. You squeeze an orange, you get orange juice. You squeeze my head, you get network marketing. <laughs> That's all it's up there. I mean, I mean that literally. And uh, so I just entrenched myself in network marketing. I became very passionate. I believe a man or woman without passion is no principle or action or motive to act. And so if, if you want to make this a career, you have to be passionate. You have to make it the most important thing in your life. And you have to do it with every fiber of your body. You have to be involved. You have to talk to people every day. I'm 85. I pick up six, 700 people every day, meet people if I don't do a thing. But your I, group. Your group grows. Yeah, my group grows every, every, every day. Every day. It grows. But it, I talk to people all day. I never leave the house. I don't come back if I didn't talk to three or five people. I can't have a conversation with anybody without bringing up network marketing. Because I believe when you work as hard as I did for four years and raise six children on the small income I raised, and then you make the kind of money I'm making today in network marketing. For you not to share that with other people would be ludicrous. So let, let me. So I want you to give the formula again because I really like what you said about the numbers. You know, once you understand the numbers, every, nothing else makes sense. That's right. Once you understand network marketing's numbers. So what was your the, the formula for, uh, uh, that, that you that you shared on the numbers again? Well, the geometric progression numbers, which I didn't understand until I was 62 until that man gave me that video. If he didn't give me that video, I don't get the numbers. And what Don Failure did, he would do the geometric regression numbers for 2, 4, 8, 3, 6, 9, and uh, 5, 2,500. He didn't go any further because at that time there was no money to make Right. So I took my little 995 computer and I went 5, power 5, 25, 125, 625, 3,125, 15,625, 78,125, 5 to power 5, 7 levels deep. It's 97,000 people. They spend 100 BV a month, 100 BV a month, which is a product, financial product of network marketing. That's 9,700,000. And 5% of 9 million would be 450,000 a month. And if you fail 90% of the time, you're only going to make 45,000 a month. Poor baby. Yeah, exactly. How many people you have in your group now, approximately? About. 660,000. 660,000 people. So that mathematical pro progression worked. It worked. It nice. It worked. Um, so one, understanding the numbers because it when you understand it. something, then you can you sure. can kind of lock in on it. Number two, education. Learn. Learn. Study. Learn. Learn. Um, get good at this. Mm -hmm. Treat it like a professional, not just like a hobby or not just like a lottery ticket. I read your book, GoPro. Yeah. I love it. Oh, good, I, I good. Love it. I'm you know, I've been saying for a long time on the stage, Tiger Wood played golf as an amateur, never made it done. He decided to turn pro. The first year he turned pro, he made $18 million. That might be a clue. Turn pro. <laughs> well, I that's true. Book, Thank book. you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, third was passion. This idea of being um, passionate, emotionally involved. You're not just going through the motions. Um, I've, I've been mentored by a couple billionaires, and I've known people who make big, big money, and they're so focused and so passionate that if you get in their orbit, you have to like go along. You have to. You know what I mean? Th their conversation automatically goes towards their passion. The, the, the everything happens towards that because they're so tunnel visioned as to their purpose. Okay. You know, so passion was another one, and I think you talked about Commit, you know, being involved, commitment, doing yeah. the work. Yeah. And how, how much, how much help work help. is involved here? I mean, there's, you know, I, I, I personally believe that a lot of our society has forgotten how to hustle, has forgotten how to put their work clothes on That's again. Right. You know, they're a little too cool. They're pushing yeah. buttons. They're mm -hmm. clicking mouses, and you know, mouses. There's no mouses anymore. But 
you know, they're 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 sitting on their Facebook account. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they forgot to put work clothes on and actually I, go talk I, to people. I agree. Something I really loved in your book, it was really, really stood out. That pro athletes will work hard, train every day, get to the Olympics, become a pro. Doctors go 12 years to school, but yet they get a network point, they don't want to train. They yeah. Do anything How many pro work. athletes have you had come in your, in your group and you just go, oh. They don't, they don't do it. I have a talk with every single one that's ever come into my group, ever. I say, listen, let me just tell you right now. Nobody cares about your career when it comes to building a downline. That's right. You, That's you're, you're a rookie again. Yeah. You're in rookie camp again in this business. But if you but if you bring the same passion that you brought to becoming a pro athlete, sky's the limit. You make way more than you ever made as an athlete. Yeah. One one of the things I always say: three things okay in this industry: pride, impatience, and greed. People pride, and impatience, and greed. And greed. And if, if pride is people come in. Why should I talk to Jimmy the Butcher? I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer. What do I need him for? Wrong. Right. They need because I'm a professional networker. Yep. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a pro athlete. I'm a professional networker. And so I can help you if you let me. I can help you if you ask me. And I can help you if you help yourself. But uh, impatience. Impatience, people. This is not Tony Kardash. It's a long distance run. People lose patience. They think the grass is greener and somebody else is sharp. So they jump into another company. And just when they're ready to get to the top, they jump ship. Impatience, impatience. And greed, they, they, they want to do more than one thing. They want to try to do three things. That's greed. You have to stay the course. You have to focus on one thing. You can't focus on two, three. You have to focus on the one thing. Yeah. Just like you did when you were a doctor, just like you did when you were an athlete. Whatever you do, you have to do it with passion. You have to focus it. You have to be laser focused. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. And you can't be scattered. I was not scattered. I was laser focused on network marketing for the last 25 years, and it's paid off. What's the next goal for you? What's next? The next goal for me is uh, to have all my children and all my 28 grandchildren doing this business successfully. I want to see them all financially independent. I believe that anybody that does network marketing properly with a passion laser focus can be financially dependent and now there's uh, there's some people watching that would like to be adopted i think <laughs> by you because you'll make them you'll make them get to the top <laughs> well you know it's really a lot of people are always thanking me for helping but really they have to do their you can only sure. charge you can only you can guide them. you can't do it for them they right. have to do they have to do but i am so passionate about network marketing and when i first understood network marketing i said wow Network marketing is democracy in its finest form. It's people helping people. What I love about network marketing, if I sponsor somebody in my business and they fail, I fail. Mm -hmm. If I sponsor two and they fail, I fail. But if I sponsor one or two that don't fail, then I don't. So it behooves me to set them up for success. Mm -hmm. It behooves me to tell them exactly what they have to do and take a posture and say, if you do this, this, and this, you'll be successful. Right. And that's, that's sometimes... People are not coachable and teachable. People have to be coachable. They have to be teachable. Talk they have to listen. Talk about the value of face-to-face. -face. I love face-to-face. -face. And that's the way I built my business. And like sometimes I'm on the phone first and then I fly and meet wherever you are. And I, I think for me, this industry, that's the way I built it. Mm -hmm. I, I, didn't, I haven't gotten one person on Facebook. People have found me on the internet. Sure, you can out. connect they've with people called, there. They've called me. But I always do the business with, uh, I'm persistent and, you know, I probably got more no's than anybody in this industry. I've gotten thousands of no's. I've, learned, I've got to the point where I, I love them. Yeah, yeah. I've, got, I've got a few yeses. The yeses built my business. The no's built my character. When nice, you get smile like and that. dial and get 30 no's in a row and keep smiling and dial, that's character. Some people thought I was a character, but that's a character. Right, right, right. They don't. I, and I'll tell you, you, you talk about Facebook, all that stuff. There's a recent study um, and guess what percentage of word of mouth actually happens online? I have no idea. Seven percent. Wow. A lot of people think it's 70, 60, no, 50. No, Seven percent. Ninety-three percent still happens mm -hmm. person to person, yeah. face to face, belly to belly. I love that. I love person to person. I love that. Well, Jimmy, I'd like you to look into the camera to the people all over the world that are watching this and Give them some advice. 
you know what what you know if you're sitting there face to face in their living room with them what would you encourage them you know what would you guide them to do in order to be able to be more successful in the network marketing business well I have to refer back to Jay Paul Getty. Jay Paul Getty once said, if you want to be financially independent, you have to do three things. You have to be in business for yourself. You have to have a product people need and want. And you have to be able to duplicate. He's seen Henry Ford making cars, mass production. He said they need gas and oil. He opened a gas station here, gas station there, 10,000 gas stations later, taking 3% of 15 cents a gallon. He became the richest man in the world. And that was Jay Paul Getty. Ray Kroc did the same, same thing with McDonald's. 10,000 McDonald's later, he was a billionaire. He died a billionaire. He started at age 52. The last bastion of capitalism in this free world is network marketing. Last year, network marketing did 167 billion. It paid back 65 billion to the distributors involved, the people involved. It's growing at the rate of 10% a year. Franchising is growing at the rate of 2% a year. There's a paradigm shift taking place in the free world. If you want to be financially independent, my advice to you is find a good company. Find a company that suits you. Find a product that suits you. Become a student in network marketing. Get laser focused. And for a small investment, for a small investment, a few hundred dollars, you can become a millionaire. I invested $500 11 years ago. It's returned my family, my six children, and myself, $36.7 million in the last 11 years. And when you make a lot of money, financial planners come out of the woodwork. And here's what I say to them. They all want to manage my money. I say, listen, I invested $500 11 years ago, returned me $36 million. If you have a better deal, start talking. If you don't have a better deal, start listening. Network marketing is the last based in capitalism. It's the only place in the free world where you can get started for a few hundred bucks, give some sweat equity, the hardest thing you have to do is talk to people. This business is so simple, it's scary. I say to people, would you like to be healthy every day for the rest of your life? Yes or no. Would you like to be wealthy every day for the rest of your life? Yes or no. Could you find two people you really care about and you'd like to be healthy and wealthy every day for the rest of your life? If they say yes to all those questions, you qualify to do my business. And I just told you I make a lot of money. Those people that make a lot of money usually make, have great skills like Michael Jordan, Tiger Wood. You want to hear my skills? You might have the same skills. Can you walk? Can you talk? Can you drink a shake, swallow a pill, eat a bar? You can do my business. That's all I do. Network marketing is a simple business. And gravity keeps us on this earth. Thank God for gravity. We've all been spinning around in space. Ownership is the glue that holds network marketing together. It's so simple. If everybody comes into network marketing, gets an ownership for life, the products the company selling takes the product, becomes a lifer, finds a few other people, two to five people that do the same thing. Everybody wins, nobody fails. Once you, once you understand the numbers and mathematics of network marketing, I can prove theoretically, mathematically on paper, it's impossible to fail. When you know it's impossible to fail, why wouldn't you pursue it when it's impossible to fail? Jimmy, you're the man. I appreciate you. We finally connected. Finally, my I'm, pleasure. I'm glad it. we were able to do it. So I'm glad we were able to ha make it happen. I appreciate your contribution to the profession. My and, pleasure. My pleasure. And ladies and gentlemen, our wish for you is that you decide to become network marketing professionals. You decide to go pro because it is a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.